Hey guys, um, today we're going to be making a procedural flow field in Blender um, using geometry nodes. Um, I can understand if it seems a little bit complex. Um, don't worry, it's very simple. It's just a lot of simple things put together. Um, so hang in there if you're new to all this. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoy the video. So let's open up a new scene. Delete the default cube, select geometry nodes, and add a plane. We can then delete the plane, and it's red. So we may want a wireframe view. Turn this to 50, and these to 10. The size is a 10, but she's at 50. So we want something to instance on the on these points. So we're going to add an instance on point node. Okay. Now we want to add our object we want to instance. So we're going to add a cylinder, and we're going to hook that up to the instance. As you can see, it's pretty big. So I'm going to bring this down to like 0 0.02. Um. Maybe I'll bring this up to 0 0.02, a bit better, and 0 0.0, 0 0.4, yeah, it's a nice report. Okay, so now we've got our grid, um, we need some variance in the rotation, some randomness. So we can do this by adding a noise texture. And to give it a little bit more controls, we can add a color on. We can then add a align to yield back. Okay. So from here, if we plug this in, we can see what's happening. Uh, there's variance in the rotation, which is what we want. So we can go to the noise and just turn all of these values down to zero. And then start to drop the scale of the rotation. Kind of see the shapes are coming out. But uh, there's not a huge amount of variance in this rotation. So we can increase the range by adding a map node into here and then just scaling this up. But we're going to need a multiply, not an add. And as you can see, it's happening. Uh, there's definitely a visual cutoff point where it just doesn't work anymore. So you want to find a spot where they seem to be smooth. So let's go for something like Now we need to sort out our noise. I'm going to go for something like... Um, I've just realized I've left this on 3D, uh, so we won't be able to animate over time. To animate it over time, we want to go to 4D. And drop the scale to something you like. So I'm pretty happy with that. And as you can see, this W value just helps to animate it. And you can uh, animate it with a keyframe. And then scrubbing through the timeline, adding a value of 10 to it, and then hovering over and pressing I again. And then as you can see, we have a moving flow field. Uh, I'm just, just going to create some variance in the uh, height of some of these points. So what we need for that is a set position node. And we're going to plug it in here. And this offset is going to give us what we want. But again, we need some variance in this. So we can just use a nice texture we already have. And use another color around. And to separate just the Z, we can use a 
the parade XYZ. Plug this into a line XYZ. Look back to that. E what's happening. Okay, so we're getting some very gentle variance in that middle line. If we put this in between here, uh, we're only going to get it on the Z up, which is what we want. So we can probably drop this down to here. And we can also pull this down so it clamps to the floor. Okay, let's see how that's. That is looking pretty nice. Um, so now we can think about shading this. Um, so we need a set material node, and we want to just put that in front of the. Select the standard material. Select here. That's all good. It's now white. Um, we can turn this to cycles, GPU compute, turn up denoising into light paths. Just set all of these to three. Turn off reflective, reflective and reflective caustic. Um, go to the world settings and turn the value down to zero. And add an area light. Press G, Z, and move your mouse upwards. Scale, 5. Did that by pressing S and then 5. And we want to go to our light settings and turning this up. I'm going to turn it to a thousand. That's going to make everything nice and white. Turn this off just to see how it's going to look in the final render. And uh, now we want to set up our camera. We hit camera hit. And click up here. View. Camera to view. Press this little button here. Roll out. Find something you like. Mm. You know what? This needs more contrast, actually. And I think it could be a lot thinner. Um, because this is procedural, uh, we can use different geometries like type. Uh, we could use a cone. Put that in there. And scale this way down. Scale that path. And this is going to help add a little bit more contrast. So yeah, that's... looking pretty cool uh, if you're happy with how this turned out uh, please let me know in the comments um, I'm going to try and keep doing as many of these videos as I can um, and yeah I hope you enjoyed it